Happy Wednesday, everyone. A little look at our weather for the course of the next few days. Getting a bit interesting. We do have some very cold temperatures as we go tonight into tomorrow. Very cold, even out towards the coast. Widespread freezing fog, a possibility throughout the area, especially as we start to clear out those skies. A few more rain and snow showers, mainly on Thursday, mainly into the late morning and afternoon. Not to the extent we saw over the weekend, though. Then mostly dry as we head into the New Year's weekend. Clearing things out later Friday, New Year's Eve, into Saturday, New Year's Day itself. Now, later Saturday, Sunday, especially out towards the coast, winds increase, clouds start to roll on in, and we got a potential of some widespread rainfall at a little bit higher elevations, the potential for some snow. This is a warmer system moving on through, and will bring a decent amount of rainfall to the area. So there's some minor concern when it comes to flooding for small creeks and streams, but overall we are looking at a decent amount of rainfall as we head into early next week, the first full week of 2022. Let's take a look at the coast for tonight and tomorrow, becoming cloudy with frost and freezing fog possibility. Look at those low temperatures. Temperatures in the 30s as we go overnight tonight into tomorrow. Not even that, the low 30s with freezing potential throughout the area. Further inland, the potential of temperatures as low as 30 degrees, possibly even as low as 25 degrees as we start out the day on Thursday. Freezing fog early, then showers likely as we head later into the day. Still warming up though to the mid 40s, possibly 50 degrees for North Bend. For the West Valley, it's also very, very cold tonight. Mostly cloudy skies, some patchy freezing fog. Temperatures overnight in the teens and 20s, and then back to the 30s and almost 40s as we had into the afternoon tomorrow under cloudy skies, freezing fog early with a chance of rain and snow showers, mainly rain as we head into the afternoon evening, but again, dependent on the timing and on your elevation. East of the Cascades, partly to mostly cloudy with freezing fog, freezing fog early tomorrow, then partly sunny, a chance of snow showers, temperatures overnight in the teens and single digits, mainly in the single digits, very cold out there, and then barely warming up to near freezing temperatures by the afternoon. Checking out your seven day forecast. Chance of rain and snow through Thursday, mainly later Thursday into Friday morning, but later Friday into Saturday, Saturday into Sunday, we're starting to clear things out for the Rogue Valley. That means a bit of sunshine, not warming up too much, but we will gradually add temperatures as we head into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Of course, that means more potential of rain as we start out the new week. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday all bring a decent amount of rainfall potential, especially at some higher elevations and on the west side of the Cascades. For the Klamath Basin, it'll still be snow and also some fairly high winds. We will be watching that for lower visibilities and slick roadways. Chance of snow late Monday into Tuesday, and that'll continue through a good part of Wednesday of next week. Northern California, outside of a slight chance of snow on Thursday, possibly into Friday morning, Saturday and Sunday, looking at mostly dry conditions. Windy conditions pick up again towards Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, with a mix of rain and snow showers likely heading into the first week of the new year. And out on the coast, cold with some showers for your Thursday. Snow levels pretty high up there, mostly dry on Saturday, but rain returns over the weekend.